also been told that uh, our flight, in, within I think 20 minutes of getting to the other man, has now had to be sent back. Uh, we're going back to Gatwick and we're waiting to find out exactly what's going to be happening. Uh, there's obviously a lot of people wondering what's going to go on because in London everything's fine, but uh, certainly conditions in Alamanda, the, uh, the actual uh, visibility is very low indeed. So we're now waiting to see what EasyJet does for us to look after us. Really sorry, that's just the way things go sometimes. And unfortunately, Isle of Man only has a Category 1 RLS, not, not like an auto land here, so we're a little bit stuck. Anyway, uh, going to the, the terminal, our passenger handling agents will look after you, give you some more information. Uh, the last I heard from our operations team was that they're planning to delay the flight until tomorrow morning. So hopefully you'll have some more information as soon as possible. And thank you very much for your patience. Well, that was interesting. The pilots said they were in 10 minutes of landing, um, but the sea mist rolled in and uh, there was no fuel that would be suitable or you know, there was some reason they couldn't refuel in the Isle of Man and the radars are you know, sort of version 1 and if you had version 3 then there's more doable to get in with the sea mist. So this is now the site of the queue at EasyJet where we're all waiting to find out if we've got room for the night and what's happening next. So sometime later we're still in the queue, uh, some people have got a voucher to go to a hotel, we still don't know what's happening and pretty I'm impressive so far with uh, how they're dealing with us because they're not talking to the crowd and there's sort of a bit of anger now developing that we're just left in limbo and time goes on. So they still haven't sorted out rooms on the basis that we were obviously in the air an hour on the way back and then now we've been at least an hour on the ground they, they're claiming they haven't been able to organize um, hotel rooms for everybody which is a bit disappointing because it's not like we just turned up out of the blues so uh, quite a lot of people are now getting quite sort of frustrated I think would be right because it's getting quite late and we don't know where we're going no idea <laughs> So we, we've now got a voucher for a hotel, apparently it's at half an hour away, um, still a uh, bit, bit vague, we're going to get a coach and obviously go wait for everybody else to get their vouchers and Wooden House in Dorking, here we come. I tried to go to Isle of Man. I know, but Liverpool's a lot nearer than the gap. Is there a number? Although we have our vouchers, uh, absolutely nothing yet on how to get there. They're waiting for some coaches, but no information when I'm asking about uh, when the coach is likely to appear. The frustration continues. Well, another bizarre twist. On our piece of paper, it says our flight will be going at 10 past 11. And we've now just received a text, if you do it on a, a check-in with EastJet, that says the flight's going at quarter past seven in the evening. So a 24-hour delay. Even a bit worse than that, I think, by the time we sorted ourselves out. So no one knows what time we're, we would like to be back in the Isle of Man, if it's tomorrow morning or lunchtime. Considering there's only one flight that's actually being held up, it's pretty poor that they haven't really got an idea what's going on. So now we've been told there's a coach to take us to this hotel. Um, We've had more confirmation by email that our flight is 7.15 tomorrow, but the people upstairs keep saying, no, no, it's going to be 10 past 11 in the morning. I've now tweeted uh, EasyJet. Hopefully someone would respond to us. We have uh, four MHKs, two of them are ministers, and uh, we need to find out from them, of course, what's going on, because no one minds. It's obviously not their fault because it's fog, and we accept that. It's just a fact, and I'm sure we've all had this. No one seems to know what's going on. And we've probably waited a good hour in a queue to be now bussed on. When the flight obviously got turned round, they had at least an hour in the air to start thinking about sorting things out, but it just never happens that way. So, uh, come on, EastJet. Let's have a nice finish of this. Are we going at 10 past 11 in the morning, or is it 7.15 at night? So I think it's about another 20, maybe 25, even 30 minutes since uh, we were last here in this queue. Uh, I did ask somebody maybe some water for us and uh, nothing coming, but an MHK, Mr. Shimmons, offered me some, so that's very kind of him. Um, apparently there was a bus here, the Menzies people say, and then when we got here, the bus had gone, they can't find it, they're trying to locate it, and uh, so the wait goes on. Hopefully we'll get to a hotel room before midnight. It's quite sad that... Obviously this thing has happened all the time that 
we, you know, the passengers are just left in with little communication of what's really going on. Uh, but anyway, all the good news is the hotel's going to be quite nice, so we we'll look forward to that at some point, hopefully before midnight. Well, as you can imagine, there's all rumours and things. What we're hearing here, that they, there should have been a big bus here. It hasn't arrived. It's going to be another 10 minutes. And now a small little coach has turned up, but it's not big enough for everyone to get in. And she's saying uh, the men's grand staff, it could be another 10 minutes or so. But she's, to be fair to her, she's, she's on, the, on the blower to, to somebody saying, look, another 10 minutes, another 10 minutes. This just goes on and on. And that little coach over there isn't going to get us all in. So our worst fears are confirmed that only a little small minibus has been put on and the rest of us are going to have to wait here for some time. Um, we have people running over to it, offered to the older people first, which is fair enough. Uh, the men's people said she's tried everything to try and get more assistance, but at the minute nothing's happening. So we think it's heading for about an hour, though we have lost time, track of time. Here we go. I've been told that they have ordered some taxis. So some taxis have now been ordered. So an hour's wait, a minibus, a minibus has taken some. There's 21 of us now left here waiting and some taxis hopefully on its way. EasyJet, EasyJet, please watch this video. Please learn, please. So there's a taxi here. We're going to get to the hotel, hopefully. My battery's going on this. So uh, maybe this is nearly the end of the saga of our EasyJet. It wasn't so easy to the other man.